Hi, Phil Swift here to show you the power of flex tape. I cut this tank in half. No, not really. I'm <coughs> making a shield. Let's do this. Life's a competition, so if I'm going to play, then I'm gonna play to win it. I refuse to sit and rot at a desk all day unless I have a passion I'm working towards, okay? I'd rather be dead on the outside than inside. A bullet to the head than 25 to life in a cubicle alone, just trying to get by, building someone else's dream instead of building mine. If you're hearing me, this is meant to inspire. If you have a dream or if you have desires, a girl in your life that's making you feel the fire, go fight for her man, go die for her man, cause you only have one life, one chance to do it, one chance to Prove it to yourself, self, so don't lose it You got this fam, just keep pushing on through it One day you look back so glad you pursued it Coming to you live from the stolen intro of my messy workshop Where today I am going to be showing you how I prototyped a shield Propane tanks are just a little bit on the heavy side for a shield. Um, I want to say the reason why I wanted to use propane tanks was because I watched a ZNA production video. Um, because that's where I get all my inspiration from now. And, uh, I want to say it was either How Many Weapons 3 or 4 where he made a tank. A, a, a tank shield. And I'm starting to think he called it that because it could take hits like a tank, and not because he made it out of a tank. I think that's why he named it the Tank Shield, and not because he made it out of tanks. So I thought to myself, wow, would you look at that, he's, he's throwing that thing around pretty good right there. So I should be able, once I get him cut up and put welded back, because the yeah, I like this one welded here, get it welded all back together, I should be able to make a pretty sweet shield, right? <laughs> Though that's not right, by the way. I was just trying to figure out what I'm going to say next, other than um, I failed, but we're going to call this a prototype. Because... That sounds better than I failed. Oh, by the way, I got I got Justin. Love the back together, at least. You know, that's something. All right, let me stop stalling. Here you go. Here's the video. Have fun. So basically, these are what I'm making the shield out of. I am going to attempt to cut these down the middle like that and then cut off the domes of a few of them and then leave the, the domes on end. It'll make more sense once I get them apart, but my battery's almost dead, so I have to make this brief. I might have already said that, I don't know, I'm trying to rush it. So I'm gonna work on sawing these in half. I know I'm gonna be grinding them in half, but going with the flex tape theme for some reason. Uh, first off, I'm gonna work on cutting like the, the feet and the handles off, and then we'll work on cutting it down this theme and yeah hopefully there's no propane left in them and hopefully i won't blow up so i'm going to do that now standing open out in the field for 16 years does not mean a propane tank is empty lesson learned wonderful i'm just happy <laughs> when the sparks didn't catch the gas well, I was grinding the hole into it. Holy crap. Wonderful. Just makes me wonder when these has it. I'm going to I'm gonna drill them with my cobalt drip bit. Blah. Just to make sure. Oh, boy. I thought this is going to be such a good idea, too. Holy crap. Look at that. It's 
like freezing the steel. It is. This tank is so cold right now. All that pressure. Just hope it bleeds out, you know? Alright, I'm going to carefully drill holes in these ones and hopefully that doesn't happen again. It's the sort of configuration I'm thinking of, but it's not long enough. So, that means we're going to cut another section out of this propane tank and we're going to attach them. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use welding yet or what I'm going to do to attach them. I'm probably going to use a combination of welding and bolts. But the whole idea is to be able to have it run all the way up, have my hand at this end right here, and have and be able to tuck my shoulder into this end to sort of like ram stuff. And I'm probably going to have padding up in here. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I might go get some dinner, but then I'm going to work on getting another section out of this tank. And then I will probably make another one too. That, but now... Um, I'm about ready to start cutting this thing apart. These things apart. This is gonna be good. Um, of course, we want to work out a plan in Sharpie. What we're gonna do. Um, get this piece of steel here. It's left over from my Justin the Hammer video. It's the other part of the angle that I used for his handle. Yeah, piece of angle there. But now we're going to be using it to measure out lengths on this. I know I am not that interesting at commentating, but I don't care. All right, got my uh, handyman secret weapon. Uh, not duct tape today. The handyman handyman have several secret weapons. Duct tape is usually one of them. But Sharpie is another one. I need to buy more Sharpies. Alright. Gonna cut out that line. Approximately. We're eyeballing it. Alright, I'll shut up now. It's our time to shine Show that's the kind of state of mind You gotta combine with hard work and time You gotta climb to the top Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops Let this beat rock Got a new clock and a new stock for this new rock Just let your mind loose from the new stock Goose, yeah. thinking that I'm too pop yeah. Getting caught with a few thoughts Cause, Cause I'm, I'm too lost off. The speakers can't even handle me Even what I got, nobody will drain my energy And I will never stop, I'm motivated by enemies Setting up shops so everybody remember me And now I am not going through life Regretfully, I'd rather work non-stop what they call incessantly Then what's a more job Just to live life pleasantly Already got lost in my mind Not a fantasy I'm getting in my and soul So stop, drop, and roll Get lost, all control And pop off your bowl I got squat, I fold I'm not bought, I'm sold My stock rocks, it's gold Hey, knock, knock, she hold It's shit, talk to close I ain't stopping though It's hip-hop, you know Or is it rock and roll? I'm not dropping tone No, my pocket's grown You can't stop the show So get rocked, you know So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never give it up Slowing down, keep on going till I'm down. Now I'm never 
the slow and down Just with love and hard words like a weapon Attack with no questions In my own section And they still disconnected Cause their mind's been infected And they're filled with objection Too filled for recollection So we're losing all attention They don't know I'm in contention Cause I'm gaining their attention Cause I'm making a connection Lyricism and aggression Got me feeling my ascension And my passion, my profession I'm attacking my obsession Taking action and progressing uh, I go off on the enemy That's what makes them scared of me Make my plans carefully Then execute them daringly They say I act recklessly But that's why I'm effective See you can't predict my tendencies I offer no transparency Some people think I'm lost Still this thing gon' be a legend I'm never gonna stop Till I'm one above second And my thoughts at the top But my mind stay present yeah, Don't let your dreams yeah. stop Cause dreaming yeah, is a blessing they tell me all the same Told me I won't make a name But it's not about the fame It's about keeping me sane So I stay within my lane Feel my blood pump through my veins Feel adrenaline, no pain Welcome all to my domain yeah. So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up No, I'm in. take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about you, I ain't never So let me break, 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 break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up No, I'm in. take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about you, I ain't never So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up No, I'm in. take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about you, I ain't never So let me Break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up. You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you, I ain't need to make friends. So the plan here, is since this is my only decent sized grinding wheel left, or cut off wheel, I'm going to just cut out one section, same on the bottom. Well that tail is easy enough to explain, I know I'm going to do it. Oh, it's almost full size, not bad. One of these days, I'm going to break down. Get one of them industrial angle grinders, you know, like the four inch. No, what I'm saying, the eight inch grinding wheels. Woo! Them things are nice. If I bleed tonight, if I am sad tonight, I don't have a job to find. And if I work tonight, if I'm so tired tonight, I'll fall asleep when I'm home. When I
this. Kind of what I'm thinking. Then I can get the sucker together. Something along this line. something to this effect. See if he'll get my arm in there real good. Oh yeah. Okay. So, now I got that. I'm going to try to weld it together. Woo! Actually, I'm going to deburr these cuts first. I don't feel like getting cut on these cuts. If you know what I mean. Justin the hammer went through? Well, yes and no. See, this is what, what I'm putting my yet to be named shield to is Weight Watchers grinder test. Justin went through Weight Watchers cinder block test. There's a slight difference. This, uh, the, the, the grinder test isn't going to destroy my yet to be named ride shield. But totally destroyed Justin. I still haven't welded poor Justin back together yet. I should have done tonight while I had the welder out, but I just didn't think about it. I don't feel like going to get the welder back out, and I'm working on this project, so... Grinder Weight Watchers! Woo!
that's a first for me. Got an angry grinder. Have a cut off wheel brake. I'm gonna leave that aside for tonight. I think I'm gonna call this good for now. I need to go figure out what I'm gonna use is my handles, my brace, and paddings. And I also need to figure out a way to get these lips out of here. So now I'm gonna get a bowl of ice cream and play some computer games. Okay, so I'm back. It's the next day. This time I actually got the sucker clamped down to my forge instead of just having it sit there with it, with this weird weight just kind of sitting there. I'm still trying to figure out what this weight is. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me. Anyways, I'm out of cut off wheels. So, grinding wheel it is. I guess at this point I should explain what I'm doing, but I'd rather do it when I'm done doing what I'm doing. So there we go. No explanation. Okay, now that it's all nice and hot, so that way I'll burn my hands when I show you guys what I'm doing here. Um, this is what I'm doing here. Yeah. I'm going to this sucker. Alright. Make sure I'm still praying. Okay. So I got this. Piece of brown stock right here, and I still haven't figured out exactly how I'm gonna fix it, but it's gonna be fixed right there. So that way, there's also gonna be padding around here to protect it. I'm just reaching there, grab it, and there's gonna be a strap right here. I, I'm considering having another port come out right here, and maybe have right at your elbow where you would grab it. And then. It'll look something like this when you're using it. I'm sorry, I'm all... I would hold the shoe left-handed. So it will look... Something like this. Which leaves you open for an airsoft gun around it. Or a war hammer. Or something. I'm not even sure if you're seeing what I'm doing. Possibly, maybe. Here, we'll do this again. See you, be. It would hold it something like this, and then that leaves room for maybe an airsoft paintball gun or a, a warhammer named Justin around the outside of it. Well, anyways, guys, that was me failing at making a shield. Um, I should have taken into account how heavy it would be, and the fact that I don't even know how heavy it is. I might have to. The rough rough guesstimate I'd say seven pounds. Hang on. Oh, let's see here. Hammer. Where's my... Where's... Right, how heavy is this? It's a 12-pound sledge. Oh, okay. I'm going to put this... Putting these two side by side. I'm going to put this around... Um... Let, let's say... About 20 pounds. So, yeah. 20, about guess guesstimate 20 pound shield that's compared to a 12 pound sledge because this one's a lot freaking heavier here I'll even do it because I'm right yeah this one's still heavier I'm gonna say about 20 pounds you know that's a rough guesstimate so for future reference I failed so you don't have to propane tanks unless 
you are making a bonus, and you're making a shield for a bodybuilder who lifts 150 pounds with his pinky. Uh, propane tanks don't make good shield building materials. But I got an idea of how I can use my last one to build a propane torch. So that's probably going to be a future video. Um, hopefully it'll be pretty cool, hopefully it'll turn out good, and then I will have a choice of propane or a my coal forge. If you liked it, uh, leave a like down below, and I don't know, comment something. See if you can give me, any, give me an idea of something cheap that I can make with, with all, all the, here, take a screenshot and just look at everything I got here and then for the two people actually watch my videos give me some ideas of something else like make I also got a couple of uh, all more blades down here oh man sorry about that the allergies are just terrible right now but yeah if you see anything here that you think I can make something out of by the way the torch has to stay in one piece Please comment it, tell me, tell me that thing, and uh, also, um, subscribe, you know, it'd be nice if you could subscribe, uh, to a group that's weld, welding stuff together in his driveway, because he doesn't have an actual place to weld yet, um, also this, uh, uh, coming up soon, I'm going to be getting rid of these tarp walls, I may have already mentioned it, but I'm not sure, and, uh, they're going to be steel. And actually, I might be getting a pretty cool grill press here, and I might be able to make some stuff then. But, uh, yeah, with that being said, I guess I will see all of you in the next video. See ya! Solve this boat in half!